Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jeff Barthon. I'm the township manager. Um, until we have a temporary board chair appointed, I will be opening the meeting um, to just get us moving through this process. In some cases, this township solicitor would do that function. We're, right now, we do not have a township solicitor, so I'll just be filling in just until we get the first people appointed temporarily. Uh, first order of business, I call the meeting to order. And uh, let's have the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our next order of business would be the swearing in of our new board member, Mr. Hughes. Madam Chair, we're going to sign out the top. Can you raise your right hand? Okay. I, David Hughes, do solemnly swear. Just repeat after me. Do you I, solemnly, I do solemnly swear, swear that I will support, that I will support, obey and defend, obey and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and that I will discharge, and I will, and that I will discharge the duties of township supervisor, the duties of township supervisor in Exeter Township, in Exeter Township. Berks County, Berks County, with fidelity. With fidelity. Okay, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Now you need to sign here as the official. And then I'll date it and I'll hand it to the. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome. Good luck to you. Thank you. That was great. That was great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a nice evening, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we will continue with the roll call. Ms. Reeser? Here. Mr. Staples? Here. Ms. Kircher? Here. Mr. Bell? Here. And Mr. Hughes? Here. Okay. We need to appoint a temporary board chairperson. Um, at this time, I'm looking to take nominations for a temporary chair. I nominate Carl Staples. I'll second that nomination. Are there any other nominations for temporary chair? Okay. All those in favor of Carl Staples, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, Mr. Staples. You are the temporary chair, and you can take over the meeting, uh, make the appointment of a township temporary secretary, and then we'll move on from there. Thank you, Mr. Bartlett. Uh, at this time, we'll entertain um, nominees for the appointment of temporary township uh, secretary. I'll nominate Jeff Bartlett um, to do that function. I'll, I'll second that nomination. Are there any other nominations? If not, does everyone agree with that? Aye. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Nay. Nay. Four one. All right. Now the next nomination is to elect a chairperson for the board. I'd like to nominate Carl Staples as the chairperson. Here we go. Is there a second? I'd like to nominate David Hughes. I'll second Carl. No second because we vote on the. You can have as many nominees as you want. You don't second it. 
Okay. We then vote. Are there, there any, are there any other nominees for board chair? So all of those in favor of Carl Staples? Aye. Aye. No. No. So there's three. All those in favor of David Hughes? Aye. Aye. Three votes to two. Okay, I just have a, I'd like to make a comment about this stuff. You know, my, I find it <laughs> very unusual that we put the most powerful person in the chair who has not been elected by the township. We've been placed on the board by uh, uh, Pai Ho and Spies and Voltaire. You were not elected, and yet we're putting you in the chair. I think that's a serious yeah. issue in this township. Mm -hmm. And that's all I'm going to say on the subject. Thank you, Thank you for your comments. Next. On the on the organization is nominate and and um, elect the vice chair for the board. Are there any nominations? I'll nominate George Bill. I would second that nomination. You don't need a second. <laughs> Okay. Are there any other nominations for I nominate Michelle Kircher. Okay. She I think I think she's earned it. She's got a lot of experience here. George is a working guy. Michelle and myself and yourself are retired. She I think married. it makes more sense having Michelle in there. So I nominate her. Mm. Question from the floor. It just shouldn't matter if the person works or not. We speak up louder. I said it shouldn't matter if the person is working or not. Vinny, I got a question from this lady. Yes, I'd like to know why, with all Michelle's experience, she was not mentioned as chair. Okay. I mean, that this is unbelievable. I've been coming, I've come in here for years and years, and she's been on the board for years. So I don't understand why she was not mentioned as chair. She is the most experienced. So some kind of game is going on here, and I thought we were done with the games for a while. Not done. Not done. So I would like to see a, a vote again, and I would like to see a reasonable vote. No, just because you didn't get the outcome doesn't mean you get to do it over. This isn't open for discussion, sir. We'll have to remove it if you don't think it works. Try. So we have two two names for vice chair, George Bell. And Michelle Carter. So all those for George Bell say aye. 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 For Michelle Kircher? Aye. Wow. Yeah. Mr. Bell. At this point, we are at public comment. Mr. Bancom, you're the first one. Well, I mind on non-agenda. They're not non-agenda. All right. Then there are no public comments before the agenda starts. The next appointment is in the staff area. That's the chief administrative office. And the recommendation for that is Mr. Bartlett. So I'd like to make a comment before we do anything on that. Um, I was doing some research on past, um, what's going on in the past. And back in 2016, there was an ordinance number six, 767, um, which had multiple changes with the authority of the township manager, which included having the chief of police report to the township manager. Um, and then there was a title change at the same time. One, I was trying to find the ordinance prior to this change to see what the duties of the township manager were prior to changing the responsibilities 
Um, I would like to propose that the chief of police be reporting to the board of supervisors, which would then also require a change to ordinance number 768, which redefined the duties and the powers of the police chief. Um, so I'm just throwing that out there um, before anything is uh, voted upon. We're not here to do that tonight, number one. Number two, Mr. Uh, that that ordinance was derived from <laughs> from our old corrupt township manager, and Mr. Uh, Jeff Bartlett doesn't have any experience managing the police officers. The police, the chief of police, this gentleman right next to me, should be reporting to the board, not to the township manager. That's exactly what I said. That's what you just proposed. That's what I said. But it's not here. It's not. It's but not I'm something we're doing tonight. Okay? Understood. But what I'm saying, Mr. Hughes, is that before we make a decision on his and reappointing Mr. Barlow with the title of Chief Administrative Officer, that we re-examine the ordinance which gives him the power to be having the Chief of Police report to That's him. fine, but we can't do that today. We still have to assign a, a Chief Administrative Officer tonight, okay? <coughs> So we could do those things at the next meeting, but not tonight. Okay, I'm going to agree to disagree with you on that because there are certain things that have to be done at the reorg meeting. That is not necessarily one of them, but I, I guess we'll agree to disagree on that. So we'll move forward with uh, to appointing Mr. Bartlett as Chief Administrative Officer. All those in favor say aye. 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 Next up is they, can we put uh, I would like to move them uh, to make sure that on the agenda <coughs> for the next meeting that that ordinance is revisited. Yes. So are we going to um, go to the temporary secretary job? Where you want to go next? Um, yes, we haven't we haven't discussed uh, further a salary or anything for the secretary position. Previously, it was combined with another administrative position. At, at this point, um, I would recommend we um, table it um, to table the secretary <coughs> position and uh, to appoint uh, Ms. Stevens as assistant secretary. In the role that she currently has and have her continue that until we uh, determine the final outcome of the secretary okay so at this point we would go to the assistant secretary and the recommendation is tina stevens who is currently in the role all in favor say aye aye aye, aye. aye. next is the okay. oh. Okay. Oh. all opposed one name are you in there? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Opposed is Mr. Hughes. Well, the assistant secretary, I said I. No, I'm saying we have one, four, four, one. <laughs> Township treasurer is the next row. And the recommendation is Jennifer Savage. Is there any conversation or discussion? All in favor of Jennifer Savage or the Township Treasurer say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Opposed. Aye. Aye. And the bond limit on the Treasurer is still set at $5 million. Okay. Open Records Officer uh, recommendation is Tina Stevens. All in favor say aye. 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 Assistant Open Records Officer, recommendation is Jeff Bartlett. All in favor say aye. 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 Emergency Management Coordinator, Sergeant David Vince. All in favor say aye. 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 Host Municipal Landfill Inspector, 
Will Bruger is the recommendation. All in favor say aye. 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 Now we come to the professional consultant. The first one up is the township supervisor. We had three people to three organizations to apply or reply to the RFP. RFQ. So you want to talk about those for a moment? Uh, yes, the, the board requested that we put a request for proposal out uh, seeking a new township solicitor. Uh, we received uh, three applications um, by the deadline last Thursday. Um, I reviewed the applications. All three of the co um, companies meet our minimum requirements uh, that, were, that were set forth. Um, the three companies is Tucker Holt LLC, Grimvine and Thatcher and Kozlov Stout for the three companies. Um, in terms of their fees that they would charge are all very similar. Um, some a little more um, on their paralegal, some a little less. Um, given that and given the experience of the various companies, um, the ones that have the most uh, employees that are dedicated to municipal law only, um, that have backups in that field as opposed to a very small staff that or would be understaffed in some cases. Um, it was my recommendation that the firm um, to be chosen would be Kozlov Stout. I'd like to ask the board to table this item. I just got my package near the end of the day. I haven't been able to review any of these law firms. And I don't know if any, everybody else has reviewed all three law firms. But I think we should. It's a very important decision we make. We don't know how bad it can be if we pick the wrong solicitor. So I ask the board at this time to table this agenda item. I agree that we should definitely be able to meet with the solicitors to find out who's our match before we appoint anyone. Okay, we will table this, but we need to get this done between now and next Monday so that we can make a yeah. make a decision. Okay, mm -hmm. so. The solicitor will be tabled until um, January 10th. Okay, and Jeff will try and set up meeting for it. I need, yeah, you know, I can, I can try and set up a meeting with the with the three groups and board members. Um, but I need your input immediately of when you're available. So when I start calling these three firms tomorrow, I have some dates and times that they can try and get a representative uh, to come in. And meet with us. Okay. So, so maybe we have to make sure that she has some evenings with Diana and I mean, I can give you my, when I, I'll look at my work calendar and, and email you more, I'll jump with my availability. If I don't have a meeting scheduled, I can make it work. So I'll give you those time slots. If you can do an evening, that's great too, but I don't know if that works for them. I don't know about George though, you know, because I know he's also, you know, works during the day, so. Pretty confident we can identify your time. Okay. I have reviewed them, but. Sounds like there's enough of an appetite to wait, uh, so. Yeah, um, I looked over them too. I mean, I have some questions, but so, you know. That sounds um, good, I'll make myself available. I think it makes sense to wait, especially since some of the packets weren't given out until later today, earlier today. Right. And I'm available anytime too. Okay. All the board members could just, sure. Email yeah. me. There, I'll there call you when I email the availability mm -hmm. so everyone sees what I'm saying and then you can go from there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And next on the agenda is professional consultant, township engineer, which is Great Valley Consultants, and Joe Rogowski is the recommended. So all in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> professional building, uh, professional consultant for building code official at Great Valley, Terry Noggle. Like yeah. uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Fire code official. Again, Great Valley Consultants, Terry Harlan. Okay. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 
Plumbing Inspector Brian Sands. Are there are no concerns. All in favor say aye. 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 And then Traffic Engineer Nahum McCombs and Associates. All in favor say can aye. I, can, I, can I ask a question? Yes, what, what does the Traffic <coughs> Engineer do? Typically, the traffic engineer is involved um, if there are traffic studies required for any subdivision plans, they review the traffic studies. They also have assisted us with grants for various projects involving traffic uh, signalization, um, upgrades, things of that nature, and they help coordinate um, any traffic related projects that go on in the township. Okay, and, and the name of this person again? McMahon Associates. Are these people, once we assign them, are they, are they at will? We can change in the middle of the year if we... It's my understanding that everybody is at will. Okay. Right. okay. Right. This is not a lifetime commitment. <coughs> so McMahon Associates, everybody's in favor, say aye. 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 Vacancy Board Chairperson, this position is currently held by Mr. Hurry Miller. And it is my understanding that this person is chosen because they have no affiliation with anybody. Yeah. In the I, I'd like to nominate someone who's in the room here. Okay. Is Gary Miller here? No, he is not. So I'd like to nominate Jim Ruas. He's a businessman in the next year's township. He's here today. And uh, I recommend him for this position. It's a vacancy board chairperson that hopefully will never, never, have to never have to be activated. So, Jim, you're willing to accept my nomination, are you? I, I'd just like to hear what the responsibilities are before I would. Uh, if, if, if we could not meet in a certain period of time to agree on placing a new supervisor on the board because they, they resigned mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. you, you would then go into action and preside over the board to pick the new township supervisor. It's a very rare thing. It would be I, one night out of your life. That's it. Yeah, I can, I, I can do that. Okay. I mean, and part of that is, is that if, a, if, if it, we're a board of five, mm -hmm. so if one person resigned, we would become a board of four. So that means that we could end up in a two-two tie and a deadlock. You would be the person responsible for the deadlock. Okay. Right. Yeah. Seems reasonable. Just to ask the question, you have no current affiliation with any other parts of this government. Do I? That's the question, please. None. Okay. Other than I'm a township president and I come to the meetings. Perfect. Seems like a good criteria. Okay. okay. So if that's the case, then. All in favor of Jim, say aye. 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 Thank you, sir, for being willing to do this. It's Ruah with F, F's, by the way. Okay. Yeah. Planning Commission. Planning Commission. Right. So the current person serving on the Planning Commission has expressed an interest to uh, continue to another term. That's Jeff Anderton. I can I speak? Absolutely. <coughs> Mr. Anderton has attacked me in social media. He has attacked this board when you guys. Uh, revoke the uh, Homestead Act, as you know. And there's another person in the room who I would like to nominate for this position instead of Jeff Anderton, and that is Ted Gardella. He's here today, and uh, I think uh, he'll hopefully he'll accept the nomination. And we can place him on the planning board. He's very well experienced. He can tell you about his resume if you like, but. He's here. I don't see Jeff Anderton anywhere. So I, I'd like to hear him state his qualifications, mm -hmm. if you don't mind. Thank you. I did bring a copy of my resume. That's great. Thank you. 
I know your name. I don't know anything about you. Just Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Dave probably doesn't need one. Mr. Garland, can we go to the mic and just kind of talk about your background? Can you make it? Yep, I can. Uh, Ted Gargallo, 218 Pennsylvania Avenue. I've been here in Exeter for um, seven years. and. Uh, my background is uh, in management and education. I currently serve with the College Board, which is the organization that uh, administers advanced placement exams and the SAT and PSAT exams throughout the country. I've been with the board for 11 years, uh, managed a team uh, for the Midwest region, and then I worked in the New York office for three years with the advanced placement program, um, and then currently uh, managing the uh, Michigan team for implementation of the SAT, PSAT, and, and, a, and advanced placement as well. Prior to that, um, I was a uh, local district superintendent in two districts in Michigan and have uh, ex a lot of experience with uh, management um, and managing teams. And, uh, you know, one of my districts had a $66 million budget, uh, the other had a $16 million budget, and I was responsible for all operations in the district, including, you know, plans for. Uh, either bond issues or uh, any kind of construction issues or maintenance issues in those two districts. Happy to answer any questions about my background. Two kids, lovely wife. Uh, she has a business here in Exeter. So. I'm just curious, um, and it, it, you know, I, I'm impressed with everything that you've had to say in your resume as well. What made you want to be part of the Planning Commission? I'm just. Well, I, I think I'd be very interested in trying to bring some innovation to, mm -hmm. you know, land use and, and really understanding, you know, what kinds of, of uh, developments that the community would really like to see. So I, I'd like to see some, some innovative ideas about land use. Okay. I appreciate that. Sure. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you. George? No, I'm okay. Thanks for okay. speaking. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> or you could ask for additional people that might want to apply. Um, it's, it's up to the board. So would you guys like to see more people or are you okay with Mr. Gardell? Uh, I'm okay I'm with that. I'd like to see what innovative new ideas he can bring. I mean, I'm, I'm interested in some new, maybe, uh, experience and what someone new might bring to the, to it. Uh, so, um, I, I could definitely be in favor of it. I agree with that, uh, especially the preparation you have this evening. It's appreciated. Not the easiest thing to do, <coughs> to stand up and roll through your credentials. So, thank you for doing that. So all those in favor of Mr. Gardello say aye. 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 Thank you, Mr. Gardello, for being willing to do this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I think there's two on this, isn't there? There is. Aren't there two that need to be appointed? Yeah, Mr. Two Powell. Powell. Yeah. Lynn R. Powell. Yeah. Mr. Chair. Sorry. Can I just ask a question quick? I'm going to make it online. Uh, Vincent Bianconi, 3609 Kirkman Avenue. So the biggest thing is you just didn't appoint Jeff mainly because he didn't agree with Hughes and he questioned Hughes and he made comments that he didn't agree with Hughes. That's that's pretty sad. Um, you know, not every resident and just because he's on the planning commission doesn't mean he has to agree with everything that the board does. Nobody does. So you just cut him out and not saying that he's not qualified or anything like that, but you, you know, you picked to replace Jeff over Glenn only because Hughes has a problem with him. That's, that's the ugliness that's going to start in this township. Okay. I appreciate your comments, but I want to say that there were four other people that also participated in that vote and Mr. Hughes did not make that decision on his own. What he did is recommend that we entertain potentially another person. Thank you. Thank you. 
and I, I can tell you, speaking for myself, which I seem to have to do a lot, I didn't make my decision based on what Mr. Hughes said. I made my decision based on what Mr. Gartel had to say. The so. biggest thing, though, you replaced Jeff instead of Glenn. No, we still have to appoint. Uh, uh, we haven't finished with him. Oh, okay. We haven't finished yet. Carl. Yeah. Can I ask? And, and while he's walking up there, can I say something? There's nothing wrong with any of us on the Board of Supervisors uh, basing our decisions on what other supervisors said, okay? And that's, I think, allowable in the United States still, isn't it? As far as I know. Yeah. Sir, state your just, name. Gerald Weinsteiger, 32 St. Cliff Drive. And I just want to let you know that um, previously when the... Uh, Last gentleman, was it Mr. Mel? Re Jason, or right. Resigned Jason, no. and went to the school board. school board. The next day, I sent my resume with letter of interest to the township supervisor for that planning commission seat that was open. And I have not heard anything Ooh. on that. And I have six years previous planning commission experience in the borough valley i was on borough council for four years and i have over 50 years experience in the engineering field so i thought i would be a good fit for when he resigned to assume his but i didn't see that on the agenda to fill his spot Probably didn't see it on the agenda because I wasn't aware. I know that Katie went on the board of supervisors was aware. But he makes a good point because Jason Mel did resign, and I don't think we're filling his position. Right. right. Now. We have not done Jason Mel's position. Yeah. <coughs> so it's so, not on the agenda at this point. Right. Okay. okay. I just wanted to make sure because I did send something to the township supervisor. Can you can you tell me your name again? I'm sorry. Gerald Weinsteiger. If you can spell that right. <laughs> I'll do it again, girl. It's a good, it's, it's a good Irish name. <laughs> hey, yeah, it is. So you submitted it to the township supervisor? I did. The Parker. very next day when I saw okay. that the board accepted his resignation, the next day I sent it. Okay. Jeff, do you have that to, to share with us? Do you have that? Okay. Kind of okay. We had not brought that up to the board. We typically when someone resigns, um, we bring it up to the board and ask what they would like to do, would they okay. like to advertise it. We received that immediately okay. um, and there was no request or anything from the from the uh, planning director to say, hey, can you get this on the agenda? Okay. So um, we do have that, um, but we, again, it was something that happened right away um, and you know, we have it. Sure. Holding it right now. I appreciate you pointing that out to us though. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, reappointing uh, Glenn Powell to a 22 to 24 term. Are there any questions or comments? The only comment I have on that is I did read his letter of interest, which I did appreciate where he stated, you know, what he has done and what he would like to do. And so um, I thought that was, you know, at least gave me some information on the man. So not knowing anything about the people that are on the planning commission. So. Okay. So all in favor of Mr. Powell being appointed to another term from 2022 to 24, say aye. 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 Okay, uh, next is zoning hearing board. Resolution appointing John Mikulski um, to the zoning hearing, to the zoning board. He is, in fact, the chair for what it's worth, to my understanding, anyway. Say that again, George. I believe he's the chairman for what it's worth. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Are there any other comments or concerns? Just since this is a resolution, we need a motion, a motion. and a second. Okay. So I need a motion to reappoint John Mikulski to the Zoning Hearing Board. Michelle makes the motion. George, I'll second. George second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, Mr. Mikulski's there. 
So now we go to administrative. <clears throat> the resolution appointing LTL consultants, LTD as sewage enforcement officer and alternative sewage, sewage enforcement officer. I like that version. Uh, um, this position, uh, LTL, has served, currently been serving in this position. Um, we're satisfied with their work. Um, their, their fees are reasonable um, and they um, typically um, are very responsive. Um, getting out there for sewer enforcement activities. This only applies to on-lot septic systems. This does not deal with the public sewer system, which is not within the control of the township. Okay. Um, and it's mostly in the more rural areas. Uh, and much of the, the fees that are charged, um, majority of it is reimbursed directly back by the property owner that needs assistance yeah. um, out at the site. Okay. So Michelle made a motion. Is there a second? I'll second now. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Resolution approving the 2022 fees for Township Sewerage Enforcement Officer LTL Consultants. Again, these fees are in line with what they had been. Um, these also need to be forwarded on to to uh, DEP um, to make them aware of what the fees are in case there's any question for someone has a, a problem with them, i uh, report you to DEP. Okay. Any other questions or concerns? Sure. Do I have a second? I'm second. Michelle, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? A resolution appointing Michelle R. Pointoff, Esquire as solicitor for the limited purpose of collecting delinquent and overdue accounts. Any comments? Um, we had discussed this previously with right. the board, um, we gave the board their materials, their information. Um, uh, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this position normally needs to be done by resolution. Right. Motion to make this appointment. I'll make the motion. Awesome. Motion is made by Diana and second by Michelle. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Resolution design, uh, designating First National Bank as a depository for township funds. I'll make that motion. Okay. Make sure by Michelle. I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Yes. Resolution appointing the Tax Claim Bureau of Berks County as a delinquent tax collector. <coughs> Michelle made the motion. Anybody want to second? That's fine, I'll second. George second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Resolution appointing Tri-State Financial Group LLC as business privilege tax collector. Assume they're doing a good job. <laughs> well, they have been doing a good job. Um, they've actually, since we had switched over to them, they um, have to be much more aggressive on their collection efforts. Um, and they do occasionally um, get what it's done from various companies to make sure that they are paying their fair share for the, uh, for the tax rate. Right. Okay. So I'll make that motion to um, have Tri State Financial Group be the business privilege tax collector. I'll second it. There's been motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. 2022 voting delegate to PSAT, the PSATS convention. I nominate Carl Staples. <coughs> okay. It's been nominated, a uh, motion has been made or nominated for Carl Staples. Are, are there anyone else? saw in the past precedent it seems like it's the supervisor that gets us is that that's what happened last year anyway is it can it be the township manager or is it customary it's, to be it's, it's good for a supervisor because they have a lot of classes yeah. and we're talking april paper yeah we're talking the <laughs> april yeah. convention for PSAT. This, this is the april convention yeah. for PSAT. typically it is a township that's supervisor yeah. um last year because of covid we, they had a, a abbreviated conference and the board authorized me um, since I was going anyway to deal with the resolutions committee, um, I was going to be there. So I was able to do both functions. But right. in most municipalities, it is the 
one of the supervisors. That's okay. the voting delegate. All right. And you have capacity to go, Carl, in April? I do. I'll second Carl. Sure. All in favor say aye. Aye. And 2022 alternate voting delegate to the PSATS convention. We have anyone that's interested in it. And what do they do? Just go if he can't go? And they have to vote. If, if I'm not able to and, vote, then they uh, gotcha. Being new supervisors, I would suggest that you would vote right. if you can. Yeah. David, are you going to the convention? No. No? Okay. Right. Jeff, are you going? If the board authorized me to go, yes. Okay. I mean, in, in, in the event you can't go, um, it, it is an important function. Each township gets one vote. Right. And there are uh, a number of resolutions that are um, put forth by PSATs that help with lobbying efforts in Harrisburg that look out for the welfare of second class townships. PSATs is the parent organization that we belong to that governs over all these second class townships, which is the largest number of um, governing groups in the state of Pennsylvania are second class townships. Uh, we fall in a category of a, a very large second class township. There are many, many townships um, that are uh, have less than 500 people in their township, uh, but we all get one vote. And it is important to get our, our say out there to our legislators in the Harrisburg. Right. That's a good, good way to meet other supervisors. Right. Are you able to go to the convention? So I intend to go. It was only a work reason that can evolve during the tax holiday, which is a peak busy time. Yep. Why I was resistant to saying, but uh, for the purpose of alternate voting delegate, let's say I'll go. Okay. So George, we alternate. All right. That takes us through the appointments. Is there any new business that we need to talk about at this point? I did not receive any uh, from, the, from the board. Um, I did place that on there in the event that there was a, a need to have uh, any new business items addressed at this meeting, since okay. it is a public meeting. All right. This time we will move to public comments and a general non-agenda items. Uh, the first person that signed up is Vincent Bianconi. <laughs> Good evening, uh, Vincent Bianconi, 3609 Perkin Avenue. So I got a little list here. Normally I know you normally keep the three minutes and I will do my best, but if I run over, I don't think it'll be an issue. We'd so, like to keep it as close to three as possible. Okay. I will try, I will try. When they're going on for 12, I'm not playing on that. Um, so the biggest thing I want to talk to you, the supervisors, is the promenade project. That's, that is, I know Mr. Hughes is not a fan of, but there are four others it's of you. Dead. There are four others of you. You don't have the full say, sir. You don't. You need to just realize you have four other people on the board that you need to respect, which you do not. So the product project is not a need. I mean, it is a, it's, it's not a one, it is a need. We need this. If you talk to any of the fire departments, which I encourage all the new supervisors to do, talk to the fire departments. Go and explore those buildings. Go to the, the, the police. Go and go for a tour there. The conditions are horrible. We are out of room, and any money spent here is a waste of money. Now, if this golf course is the jewel of the township, as he has said many times, what would help it? This property right here, and we own it, so we can decide what goes here like a little hotel or 55 and older community. We have no 55. I know as a supervisor, I was asked all the time, there's no 55 and older community. There's a lot of people who want to retire here, but there's no place to go. Think of a little high ride. That could support the golf. That could support the township. That could support a restaurant. So there's a lot of things that can be done with this property that makes it 10 times more, more worth more than up at the promenade. All right, so. And also, the, we also have a gift from Pat Mascaro. Pat Mascaro is offering, is, is going to donate a million dollars towards the new fire station. Also, he's going to head up a committee. So there's almost $2.5 million 
that he's promising to give to our fire department. That's $2.5 million. We don't have to have spend it all. That's a gift. You can't let that go. All right. So in the interest of uh, that, I don't want any more of our tax dollars wasted. So Mr. Hughes, the driveway in front of my house was put in before I was a supervisor. It was nothing was done here in the township. If you want to know why it was put up, go contact PennDOT. You can talk, contact the lawyer that we had write it up. All that stuff. It wasn't done on the taxpayer of Exeter residence time. It was done because I had no way to access my house. If you knew anything about it, but I don't want you wasting the township resources going and trying to find and go <coughs> looking around and go snooping around. You want to go? Call PennDOT. Okay? Everything was done legally through a lawyer without any issues. You want to keep pushing it, you're going to lose. All right? The supervisors. It, my other thing is, it is not your job to be township manager. Okay? You, there's a ton of employees, but you should go through the township manager. Yes, you might be his boss, but it's not your job to come in and disrupt their daily operations, which is a fear that I have that Mr. Hughes is going to do. He's already giving a list to, I'm sure, Jen Savage, but he has no respect for anybody. He's been constantly bashing on Jen, constantly bashing on when Jack was on the board, he is a solicitor. No wonder she didn't want to come back. I wouldn't have either. Um, Let's see. Diane, I, uh, I, 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 I see you're fighting to be your own voice, and, I, and I, I, I applaud that. I think you should try and separate and be your own voice as much as possible. The reason why people keep lumping you is because he was doing that for you, okay? Uh, he blocked Jack Piho from getting onto the, the committee. Wait so he could put no, you no, on no, your I don't want him to put yeah. words in my mouth, okay? okay. But Whatever. Let's you can wait. The facts or stop it. Is well, yeah, so, it is. So, so then no, you got to wrap it up, though. All right. So we can attack supervisors now, right? Well, you didn't defend the solicitor. You guys didn't defend Jen Sam. Okay. You didn't defend any of your employees against you. Okay. Is, is that it? That's all I got. Thank you very much. Tom Howell is next up. Office Box 4635. I'll cover this uh, right now. If you guys remember the library, I made it a point that you guys are going to follow the law. This is, I'm sorry, uh, uh, copies are 25 cents a copy now, so I can't afford to give copies to the audience. Uh, if you were here for the December 27th uh, meeting, it was at that time that you voted or brought up that it, instead of $1.5 million, it would be $2 million. Mm -hmm. The solicitor uh, stated on the on one page there, you see what uh, the instructions that uh, the solicitor gave uh, the board. And at the end, if you read the highlighted it says then Jeff will have to post that on the township website afterwards after a, as a re revised agenda item. That hasn't been done on the website. The only thing that's on the website that I can find is the original agenda. That statement I just read says there's supposed to be a revised agenda stating the two million dollars if you look at the resolution it doesn't take that much to change that so why wasn't it uh, posted there was Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday and all day today it should have been changed because the public this is an important amount and this is the public's money mm -hmm. and and they don't know 
or somebody else informed them, and it's your responsibility to reform. The other is everybody in this room has lived in Exeter Township long enough to know the problems we have and have some opinions on the township. And I think it's extremely important that all the public, the 20, the 19,000 to 20,000 adults have a voice in what's going on in Exeter Township. I don't believe that this occurred uh, in the last years that I've been here. If you look at the number of seats on this side of the room, it's 25. And it's been that way for a long time. This building was built in 1967. There's no reason why we can't, excuse me, can't go somewhere where we can have at least 100 seats. You might be surprised who shows up. The other deal is there's no system for people to voice their opinion in such a way that they uh, feel important and that their concerns are valid. It's uh, hit or miss. The same with uh, the right to know. The person who fills out that form is the only person that gets that information and a lot of that information can be posted on the website and it's not. The other comment I'll have, a house divided falls. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Howe. I, I would like to make one comment back and that is, is I, I believe you're right when it comes to sitting down and really helping people to understand what it is we're all about and what we're doing. And I think that more information needs to go out there and I will be following up with Mr. Bartlett on on that uh, change that should have been made and then we'll make sure that it happens right away. Thank you. Uh, could I make a statement? Uh, I wanted to say it when I was being uh, sworn in, but I'd like to say it now. I, uh, I'm very uh, privileged and humbled to be on this board. I have worked for three years for 40 hours a week or more, for three years. I've devoted myself to exposing the problems that we have here. Now, when I started doing this in November of 2018, the first thing that I discovered, thanks to Mr. Carl Schember, who, who passed away recently, was that the township supervisor, who also was the chairman of the board, her and her household never paid the per capita taxes. So they cheated the township and they cheated the school district. And the board, including this man here who's talking, said that's okay, she doesn't take her salary so we can let that go. Well, no, that's not right. So come full circle three years later, I finally get on the board and what do we do? We have a supervisor, David Spies, who resigns in disgrace, suborning fraud in our township. And the cycle keeps going on and on and on. And that's why I'm here, to stop this type of stuff. And that's why people attack me all the time, because I'm looking for these type of things. And in a certain way, we need to run the, the township. And uh, I have some ideas. I have some plans that we could implement. I, I'm not coming here just to complain. I have plans to fix things. Uh, will I get to fix those things? I don't know. Obviously, there's a lot of people that are against me. They want things to stay the same. And there's a reason why they want them to stay the same. I ran to stop the promenade because I felt it was an overreach for this community to spend. Well, look, they had a vision, okay? But like uh, Will Rogers says, a vision without a plan and they never presented a plan it's just an hallucination. They could never tell us how much it would cost after three years. 40 million, depending on the scope of the project they would agree on, it would be 40 million to 70 million dollars. Now look, I spent a lot of time in cost accounting. I know how to figure these things out. And I know other accounts would come to the same conclusion. So it's just not in our uh, 
township's ability financially to do this kind of thing. We, we, we'd get rid of our reserves, you know, and then we'd have to really raise taxes, okay? So there are other ways to approach this, and there's multiple ideas that I have. I'll share with the board, and I'll share with the public uh, some of the things I've already mentioned in, in my, on my website. So I'm going to uh, work hard to try to get things uh, fixed here. I don't know if I can because they don't want them fixed, frankly. And uh, I just want everyone to know that I will work, continue to work hard to do this. I have no agenda. I have no personal agenda, okay? I could be off partying and running around the world and having fun if it wasn't for COVID. But I'm here to help our community. So uh, I, pl I pledge that tonight in front of you. That's why I wanted to take my vows in front of the township. And you know what I said. <coughs> so thank you. Thank you, David. And we're happy to have you part of the team. Thank you. Next uh, for public comment is Ted Gardello. Me again, Ted Gardella, 218 Pennsylvania Avenue. <clears throat> I did want to talk uh, just a little bit about an issue that came up at the last meeting about the use of the Crownair property as a temporary bus garage for the Exeter Township School District. I believe there must be much more information shared about any such proposal. If you're going to store buses on a vacant lot, how will they be fueled? If they're going to be fueled by mobile units, who will be responsible for the increased liability regarding possible fuel spills and any potential environmental problems as a result of this? Currently, there's been conversation at school board meetings about a lack of sanitary facilities for the drivers. How are you going to manage that on an empty lot? How will the township monetize such a proposal? With increasing tax levels from both the township and the potential for increased school taxes, there could be increased burden on the community, and yet there's a one hand washes the other with respect to using the promenade property on a temporary basis. It's unfathomable that a construction proposal was developed for over $4 million by the school district without a plan for where to house their school buses during the transition period. And I don't think it's the township's duty to rescue the school district from poor planning. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Gardell. Excellent point. And something that you should know that the board has not agreed to do anything at this point except to entertain the opportunity, the idea. All right, so there will be much more information to come out prior to any final decision being made. Thank you. In fact, at the next meeting, Jeff is on there for next meeting, I think. We're hoping to have information from the school district at the next meeting. Right. Um, Next person up is David Ball. Thank you. Hi, uh, David Vollmer, 335 South Bombston Road. Um, I'm one of the newest auditors for Exeter Township. I got to meet most of these last, last week. I didn't get to meet Mr. Bell. Um, but I just want to tell you, myself and John Dubuck, he's one of the other auditors, and also Jesse Hodge. Um, we're ready to work with you guys and provide value. In the past, the, the auditors have been not allowed to do anything. Um, but I have a packet for you. It's 231 pages of what the auditors can and can't do um, with a CPA involved. So I'd like to give all of you that, just so you have that information. Just a little light reading, right? Yeah, just a little light. Um, uh, but <clears throat> tomorrow is our reorganization meeting. And I would urge and I would love for all the supervisors to come to that. Um, because I think we can work together in harmony here. And where, where do you meet up? Here, here. here. tomorrow and at seven o'clock. Just, uh, do you have that electronically? Just yes, I do. Okay. okay. And then, yes, so I'll, I'll discuss a lot more of that tomorrow, but I have a hard copy for everybody if you want it. Um, but if you don't, that's okay too. All right, thank you. Thank you very much, and we'll see you tomorrow night at seven. Can I, can I say something about what Dave mentioned? Uh, I. Uh, I talked to Dave about this and John. I've known John now for a couple of years. I went to the very first uh, audit committee meeting that I could do it. And uh, I tried to get on the audit committee, but I didn't, no one would do that for me. But I think that we underutilize the audit <coughs> committee. We've got a committee, we've got three people that are on it, and there's a whole bunch of things I would like them 
to investigate for us from an audit standpoint, okay? And they're willing to do it, and I think we'll be different than every other township by using the audit committee to do work and come back and report to the board of, of their findings. So that's, that's all I have to say. Thank you for sharing that. I, I think that, you know, it, it's imperative and possible for us to be here tomorrow night to really meet with the audit committee and have some real serious conversation about the direction that we would like to see and what they can possibly do to help us go forward. Agreed. So I agree whole, wholeheartedly. Uh, let me just say this before I uh, ask for an adjournment is that while um, Mr. Hughes or David actually kind of pointed out that I was appointed, but that makes me no less committed to doing my job as a board supervisor. And as a matter of fact, I think I had to work equally as hard to get it on the sport. And so what I'm interested in is doing the right thing for Exeter Township, period. You know, I, I've been here for 20 plus years myself and I've seen a lot of things just like Dave is talking about and we're going to straighten those things and go in the right direction. So thank you very much for being here tonight. Uh, I would hope that more people, if we can find a bigger space, more people will show up and we can have conversations and talk to each other and not have debates or arguments. Because that, the way that you get things done is through conversation and being willing to listen to all people's point of view before we make a decision. So thank you very much. If there is a, a motion to adjourn, I will entertain it. Okay, motion has been made to adjourn, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you very much. <clears throat> <clears throat>